Hello and welcome to this video series on Enterprise Portal in Dynamics AX 2012. My name is Anis Ansari and I'm a program manager on the Enterprise Portal team. In this video, we will see the new simplified installation process for Enterprise Portal and how the new prerequisite checker and summary reports help administrators quickly identify and resolve any issues found during setup. Here I've started the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 installer. You can clearly see all the actions that you can take here. At the top there is validate system requirements. This brings up a prerequisite checker that ensures that everything required for a successful AX installation is present on your system. Other than that, there is links to lots of helpful guides and content to help you install Dynamics AX. Now the prerequisite checker can be run before you even install anything. It's helpful to know what state your system is in before you even start the installation process. But the prerequisite checker is also integrated directly in the setup process. So even if you were to install an AX component, we will still run the prerequisite checker to make sure that you know whatever components you select can be installed successfully, at least the installation can be started successfully for that particular piece. So we want to install Enterprise Portal, so I will click on that Install Microsoft Dynamics AX Components link. This will bring up a dialog and I'm going to hit Next on this. I want to add a component, Enterprise Portal, so I will leave that selection as is. I will hit Next. On this screen you can see all the components that you can install, databases, AOS. We want to install Enterprise Portal and Enterprise Search, so I will select those two. You can also read detailed information about each component on the side. You will also see some options pre-selected and grayed out. What that means is these components are already installed on your system. Now I will hit Next and this will bring up the prerequisite checker. I'm trying to install Enterprise Portal and Enterprise Search. So the prerequisite checker is going to go and validate that everything required for a successful installation is present on the system. So behind the scenes is checking all these 19 or 20 prerequisites that are required and it's going to report the results back here soon. It's checking a bunch of things so it sometimes takes a minute or two. It should come back fairly quick. Now you see that everything is successful. I have everything that I need it lists all the things that it went and checked, a total of 19 things. Now just to show you how this can be really helpful, I'm going to go and make some changes to my system settings so that the prerequisite checker can report some errors. Now the first thing I know is for enterprise portal installation, you have to have IIS running, you have to have SharePoint site running, so I'm going to go and stop IIS. I'm going to stop IS and I also know for enterprise search SharePoint Server Search 14 service needs to be auto instead of automatic I'm going to change it to manual it needs it to be automatic so let's just change it to manual hit apply OK and now if I go back here and I say revalidate it should come back to me and say there's some errors on your system or you need to fix these errors and it should give me the details. So there you go. It went and checked again and it clearly reports what the problem is. It even gives me detailed information about each error. So it tells me that the SharePoint Central Admin site must be running. It gives me detailed instructions on what I can do, how I can check it. it gives me links wherever possible. Had this been a missing component that I need to install, say like .NET 3.5 SP1, it gives me links to directly go to the site and download and install that component. So it's really helpful. And this is the best part. It's like for SharePoint Server Search 14, it knows that you know if you link, click on this, you will see that it says 
that startup type is should be set to automatic now it knows that it can do this for me so it even provides me an option to configure so I can check this checkbox which enabled this configure button I'm going to click on that I'm going to say go ahead and configure it for me now once that is done I will close this and it will now run the prerequisite checker again and you should see that SharePoint search service error went away because it configured it for me I, I didn't even have to go back and do that myself for the IIS let's go ahead and start the service so once I've done that once it started I can hit revalidate and you can see until it's validated I cannot proceed so there's no way you can go ahead without having all these prerequisites installed only if this passes will this next button be enabled so now it's checking again once it reports success the next button should be enabled so give it a minute or two it's checking all those again now once it's back you see that the next button is enabled for me now I can hit next and this begins the actual enterprise portal installation process before it starts it wants uh, the business connector proxy account information now in this case I'm just going to use my own account we recommend that you know you create a specific account for this purpose a domain account and again it's asking me for the search there's a crawler account that you need to associate it uses this crawler account to crawl all the search related information all the indexing I'm go again going to use my account but we recommend that you create a dedicated account for this purpose as well so again there's a warning for you saying that we recommend that you don't use your account but create a dedicated account in this case I'm just demoing it so I'm going to hit, hit OK now it's asking me for the SharePoint site settings what is the web application that you want to create enterprise portal at and it gives me all these options to automatically configure create website restart IS in here I also have the option of changing my site name so by default it is Dynamics AX you could name it whatever you want I'm going to leave the default options as is and hit next now this is telling me that the site already exists this is because I have installed enterprise portal on my machine before so it's telling me there's already a site you know you are recreating the site is it okay I'm going to say, say yes and you know it's checking the prerequisites one more time because things may have changed from the last time it checked prerequisites everything is fine still so I'm going to hit next install and this begins the actual installation process now this does take some time 10 minutes 15 minutes so I'm going to pause the sc the screen and I'm going to pick up again when it comes back and when everything is installed and I will show you if everything went successfully what are the next steps from there so a few minutes later you can see that enterprise portal and enterprise search successfully installed on this machine we even provide links to the summary report and to the log file the open summary report option is automatically checked so when I hit finish it will automatically open up the summary report for me you can also open up the log file the log file contains detailed information about the exact you know every step in the process and what happened this has really detailed information and the summary report gives you a nice summary of everything that was done so summary report is a good place to start with telling you you know what is wrong what actions you can take and if you need more detailed information then you can always go back to the log file so hit finish opens up the same summary report because it installed successfully I can see that everything was fine if we had run into issues I would see some errors here and giving me corrective action on what I can do to fix those errors since everything successfully installed I'm happy with the installation and you know I can exit this installation process and we can go and check out enterprise portal
I've now logged in to enterprise portal that we just installed and as you can see everything is functioning correctly and enterprise portal was successfully installed on this machine. To quickly recap, in this video we saw how the new enterprise portal installation process with the integrated prerequisite checker enhances and simplifies the administration experience. Thanks for watching this video. Please do join us again for the next one.